Anyway, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Starbound, or welcome back to Starbound. It's 1.4, just came out, it's the Bounty Hunter update, and I figured I've got a little bit of time before I get inundated in a bunch of games. So let's, uh, let's start by turning the game down a little bit. It's just a little loud. Oh yeah, go figure. Got reset since the last time. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. So I figured we might as well give it a bit of a shot before I get utterly buried. And I got some mods. Most of them, I, you know, I'm going to be honest, I'm not entirely sure which mods I've got rolling because I'm actually using one of my moderator's mods uh, for the time being. So let's, let's start taking a look at some of these. So we've got the Scath, which honestly, I'm mostly just interested in their, in their stats because I want to see if anybody's got anything goofy or powerful. Or fun? Let's see. Energy, ice resist. Nah, it's boring. Extra energy, extra protection. I mean, it's okay. There's a lot of stats to unpack with a lot of these. And truly, I have no idea if any of them are amazing. I'm sure some of them are. I'm pretty sure these guys are just vampires. Yep. Cancelled vampiric effects. So yeah, th this is just a vampire race. Hmm. Extra hunger rate. rate and weaknesses to fire cosmic poison. Wait. Is that separate or is there such a thing as cosmic poison? Because that's... That's worrying. M maybe. Ooh. Glows in the dark. Darkness increases power and protection. Light reduces it. Uh, probably not actually something I want to go with. Shy radioactive beings. Ah. Huh. High hunger rate. Ew. Uh, let's see. Extra speed, extra jump. Great traders, extra cash. Immune to electrified. It's not terrible. Got weird ants. I think I turned off fall damage, so that's not a high priority for me. Are these goat people? Nope. They're not goat people. What the hell are they? I, I don't know. Pixel art does not show off racial differences that well. Sadly. What are these things? Symbiotes. Can regenerate. Oh, it's the slime race, of course. I could be a slime, but always hungry. Hmm. What else do we have? Hunter's Claw. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not actually feeling a whole lot of these. People seem to really like, uh, slimes. We could do that. Goobot. What is this? What is this? Is it a koala people? No, it's a reptilian. What? Okay, so let's take a look at the slimes. Immune, slime bound, slime stick, poison and webs. Oh, that's actually kind of good. Okay, so we are a dude. Unfortunately, half the art doesn't really make him look particularly slimy. They look just kind of... Indistinct. <laughs> okay, maybe we, we might be onto something here. Let's... Okay, skin color. Holy shit, there's a lot of skin colors for this. I almost wish I had a slider instead of just... I have no shirt. Yes. I think that's no shirt. What about shorts? Yes. Okay. Hairstyle.
I mean, it looks like they pretty much just took a lot of other races' hairstyles. Maybe just Florin hairstyles? Yeah, it looks like it's just a lot of these. Uh, turn off preview with clothes. Uh, I mean, I think I just turned off clothes entirely, actually. Like, I think I could just have no no clothes, period. There's a lot of hair schemes. What I want is... Oh, wait, wait, hold on. No, let's take that shirt off. Let's change my skin color again. I think we've got a uh, handlebar mustache. I, I'm kind of enjoying the idea of being a goo man with a weirdly large mustache for no goddamn reason. So what do we want? This one? Or kind of the Gordon look? Oh, oh that could be... Okay. Uh, so I should probably put some clothing back on. Wouldn't wear a sweatshirt. Probably that. Let's change the shirt color. You would be wearing brown. I mean, honestly, you'd be wearing a long coat. Okay, let's let's put some pants on, Commissioner G Gordon. Uh, let's see. I guess probably should change his personality. Probably has black pants on. Okay. Uh, let's see. Eyes and accessories? Oh. I guess we'll just make it maybe match everything. Put it at the nice nice green. I it, You know what? Uh, maybe let's go kind of with the yellowish. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> uh, let's see. Are, are we good? I think we are good. Good luck. I have survival on. Shouldn't matter. And let's let's go hunt down some criminals. Let's hope this works. I actually haven't loaded up uh, Starbound yet. Can I be honest? He looks like Slimy Space Dad. Well, I mean, Commissioner Gordon is just Gotham Dad, so... Wow, okay, we just have, uh, naked, naked, uh, robot slime AI. There we go. Anyway, Commissioner Gordon is, is here to nap. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. He just, he just naps through the, uh, he just naps through everything and, uh, gets eaten by the Arrakis, uh, horror monsters or whatever they're called. It's been a while. <laughs> I've forgotten everything. Anyway, so yeah, he'll just he'll just sleep it off. Goodbye. Now I should actually probably play, <laughs> play this game. I walk with a determined march. Mainly because god damn I'm slow. Move faster. It also looks like my UI has some issues. I'm not sure if I care to fix it, because it usually breaks the game. <laughs> and suddenly, Reventure ending launches. Dude, Starbound crossed with Reventure would actually be pretty good. The, the main problem is Reventure's base gameplay was just atrocious. Like, you're just platforming around and doing... Like, the only reason why that game is good is, is because it's funny. And, like, I would gladly play a Reventure-style game with a lot more... Uh... Like, a lot more direct gameplay or something? I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. I'm an old lady. I have a matter manipulator. I'm going to show it off. You know how I'm going to do that? By dying! Just give it a moment. It takes a little while for the dialogue to go. Unfortunately... 
I'm sorry if I seem flippant about this whole plot situation. I've already been through this a couple of times, so it kind of doesn't matter to me. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I could read it, but like, I'm probably just going to do other things. Yep, there it comes. I knew it was coming. I act surprised, but it's always the same way with the tentacles and the dying and the earth being destroyed and oh god, that's my spine. Oh boy, take my weird space gun. Good luck, Commissioner Gordon. I believe in you. Let's see, why didn't I skip the intro mission? Because I totally forgot you could do that. And at this point, remaking the character would take longer than the intro mission itself. If I remember right, there's like a... There's something up on like one of these uh, upper levels that you can grab. The cape, probably? I forget. Was it? No, you don't get through there. I don't remember, nor do I think I care that much. And it's sure funny that the random cadet is the only one that's able to survive this. Oh, look. Hentai. Oh, there it is. Aha! I am now Commissioner uh, Gord Batman. Oh, can't go back this way. Well, that's unfortunate. I already missed the flower hat. Oh, well. I honestly could care less. The cape looks stupid, too. <laughs> like, <laughs> looks real dumb. Okay, did not crash the game. I'm kind of impressed. I, I've actually tried to play Starbound a couple of times uh, in recent memory. Okay, that's my ship. I just have a big gooey ship. Also, like, the intro mission takes no time. Hi! Starbound! Huh. There is some stuff. Uh, I could read this stuff. I'm not going to. Also, my goo- Oh, right, this is the customizable ship, I think. Okay, so I'm just going to go with the default ship because building your own ship kind of is a pain in the ass. It got goopy in here. And it makes goopy noises. <laughs> it's all blobular. Okay, so what do we have? We've got a slime blob, a slime whip. I forget how to fast transfer everything. Okay, we also have a bunch of fracking universe stuff. Uh, well, we're putting these things away because good God, do I not want any of them. What's the, there's the trash button. All right, broken broadsword is actually quite good. We've got a slime, Rapier, slime broadsword. Uh, whoops. Now, question is the whip also one headed? Aha! You get the stick of the s smack. I'll put the fear of Gordon in you. Alright, navigation is offline. Right. Explore. Oh, right. We just go down. Sweet. So if if you want, I can 3D print you a life-sized matter manipulator. I found it the model free online. Uh, do you want to actually uh, send me a link to the model? Because we actually have a 3D printer in town that I wouldn't mind trying to use. Because it would be kind of cool to have that sort of thing. I'd have to paint it, though, which would be a pain in the... Why do I have this? Why do I have that? I have no idea why I have that. I shouldn't have that, honestly, but oh well. I feel like this music is different, too. I'm a little bit worried about that uh, being kosher on YouTube, but you know what? Whatever. I'll make it work. I'll probably just get it up fairly quick and find out. I don't think I had issues with the fracking music previously, but I don't know. 
Anyway, so what are the mods that I'm running? I don't know. I would tell you, but like straight up, it varies heavily. You have something to say to me? Hey, stranger, if you're looking for core fragments, you might find a bunch down in this old mine. You should check it out. All right, sweet. I'm taking your taking your tent. I could always use it. I could always use all of these goodies. Especially because supposedly sli slime people get hungry real quick. Oh, let's see. Oh, the lack of... Ah! Ah! Leave me alone! Leave me alone. Okay, good. It does It does look like my leveling mod is functional. Uh, let's see. Anyway, what was I even going to say? Yeah, it's been a while since I played Starbound. Uh, what was it? Year and a half? I think the last time I played this was Christmas 2017 area. I remember playing it on uh, on New Year's, and that's when I destroyed a world. I think I I think I destroyed a world, or at least I tried to. Not necessarily sure if it worked as well as I would have liked, but whatever. Anyway, I think after that, then my mods broke, and I never actually finished it. Should probably put my flashlight on the flashlight. I don't actually know if the whip or the... Oh, wow. That is not nearly bright enough. I guess I can't... I guess I can't... Oh, I make weird noises. Stabby. Okay. What do we get? A baseball cap. I have already stopped looking at all respectable. Gotham will, uh, not... Gotham, sorry. Okay, so if we're Commissioner Gordon, what would Batman be? I mean, like, we could, it could be some real generic, like, Slime Man, but that's... that's boring. I mean, Bat Slime? I don't really... This, pu this series of puns kind of starts and stops in a very short and disappointing manner. <laughs> Goo man. Is that Boo Goo man? <laughs> Goot man. Splat man. Splat man, there we go. Yeah, Batman would be Splat man. That... That's what he would be. I don't know what the Joker would be. I really, like, I'm not a... I'd say I'm a decently big Batman fan, but it's really I'm just a fan of the Arkham games. I didn't really like a whole lot of Batman comics when I tried reading them. They were... I'm not going to say disappointing, but in a lot of cases, they, they like, I guess maybe it's just because DC reboots everything left and right, uh, at least from what I've experienced, and so the lack of continuity kind of started to suck. Then again, Marvel, what they do is they, like, soft reboot everything forever, so, like, there's continuity, it just uh, might not matter. <laughs> I need some torches. Yeah, I do. I can probably make them now that I'm thinking. Oh, wait, no. I could probably make them had I chopped down a tree or two. Oh, well. It's okay. I think we went the wrong way, too. Yeah, I know there's, uh... I should have a number of, like, interesting mods rolling. Hopefully, one or two of them give me some- will give me some interesting, uh, options for, like, light sources that aren't just torches. Oh! Nope, I have no idea where the, uh, where the boss fight is. I guess we're just gonna go back up and I'm gonna go chop down some trees. At least for a while. Yeah. Yeah. You can manage manipulate all the crates. Yeah, but then I'd have to like manage them. I have next to no interest. Oh. It's a butterfly storm. Whoa. It's not a fan of these. One of the mods I grabbed, I know for sure, adds, like, weather, which is kind of interesting to me, because I was not expecting this level of, like, uh, 
variety already. All the butterflies are killable. Well, that's horrifying. I mean, it makes sense, but like... I, I guess from a real-life perspective, butterflies are already kind of... I'm not going to say endangered, but like... W changing weather and patterns are not good for them, so the poor butterflies are having some issues nowadays. And so, like, I wouldn't, uh... I wouldn't honestly, like, think of killing a butterfly in a game unless, like, I definitively needed to. I should probably separate myself out better, but I don't know. I just... They're cute. Not... Not like the freaking, uh... Oh, where were we? Well, actually, we were outside my house. Uh, so we recently moved to the Pacific Northwest. And, uh... I like it here. It's pretty pleasant. It's it's pretty comfortable. The weather has been mostly fine. I did get up to 95 one day, but otherwise, like, it wasn't too bad. Um, I think that actually was, like, a record-breaking day. Um... Yeah, bees too. Yeah, I I have a bit of a vendetta against bees just because like a, a bee stung me in the jugular once and boy, that was a weird and very unfun feeling, but they're important. Got to keep them got to keep them alive. Uh but so we moved to the northwest and we have a house and the southern side of our house is actually pretty sunny. Uh you know, we don't have any trees or anything blocking it currently. And so, uh, we've actually picked up a small infestation of box elder bugs. And they'd been getting into our house all, all spring, and we're like, okay, this is kind of annoying. And so today was finally the day where we were like, oh, hey. Uh, let's actually take a look at, uh, you know, where they're all coming from. And the answer is... Oh yeah, just the lower half of our house is just covered in these things. Turns out they're extremely susceptible to soap water, though. And, uh... So we just went out with a spray bottle and more or less just d eliminated the entire population. So I'm gonna have to go clean that tomorrow. <laughs> but it, w it was a bit of a shock getting out there and being like, Oh, shit, there's just bugs everywhere on our house. That's not good. I mean, luckily, I don't own the house, so I don't have to worry about too much about the infestation. But at the same time, I don't really want that around where I live, to be totally honest. So, I don't know. I love I love the idea of bugs, but the actual execution of bugs bothers me. I'm, I'm talking about bugs as if they're a game mechanic. My life is very one-dimensional. These freaking, like, underground, uh, grave chests are... I'm gonna say they're insulting, but that's mainly just because, like, I always pop them open and it's like, You get 20 pixels! And it's like, ugh. But yeah, uh, other bug stories. First week of college, couple days into being there, I got stung in the arm. Uh, very specifically, like, midway up my forearm on, like, the underside by a yellow jacket that was pissed. Because my college decided the best time to get rid of all of the bushes that the yellow jackets lived in uh, was freshman orientation week. So I was I was there more or less, uh, you know, freshman me getting ready to go to college for the first time and then whammo, stung in the arm. Gets inf seriously infected, and I was like on am antibiotics for the first month of school, which was less enjoyable. Because you yeah, can't exactly just start skipping class. That's a, that's a no good. Isn't there usually like a chest down here? I guess not. Uh. I guess I'm just gonna wander around for a little while longer. I guess. Oh, there's the chest. Okay. But yeah, that wasn't fun. That was also how, uh, well, not exactly how Shell and I met, but she met me, uh, with this, like, super infected arm, and she thought I was a complete, uh, loser. Because, yeah, I was, like, dragged out of my mind and showing up late to class, and she was, she was judging hard. Shell does not appreciate lateness. 
especially when it comes to academic. She is... She is a model student. I'm a decent student. Wow, there's a he duck! I like eating duck. I haven't had a good roast duck in a while. There's a uh, restaurant in Chinatown in Boston that was absolutely delicious. Is that a potato? That is a potato. Sleeping bag. Well, I'm feeling fine. What if that eagle got killed? Probably. Uh, let's see. Had last year a wasp nest in your garage. Oof. Yeah, I, I had a advisor in college who one day was like, Hey, you want to watch me uh, take out a, a wasp nest? And I was like, no. And he's like, well, too bad. We're going to, we're going to my house to do it anyway. And I was already in his car, so it's not like I had too much of a choice. But so I hung out inside as he more or less flamethrowered uh, a, a wasp nest in his yard. It was probably a stupid plan, but I guess it worked. He was kind of weird. But then again, I don't know. You got to be kind of weird to be like an advisor for a, f a frat full of nerds. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can't wait until I start getting some of the jump mods and stuff. So I don't remember wasp nests being anywhere hard to kill. No, it's they're not hard to kill. It's more the issue of they come after you and they're mad. What the hell is this? Motivator headwear. Yes. Commissioner Gordon has some problems with motivation. Fighting crime. It gets depressing. Even though there's literally no crime around him. Just vagrant animals that need to be slain. When in doubt, Commissioner Gord Gordon kind of reverts to a, uh, uh I'd say a, a Theodore Roosevelt mentality, except for Theodore Roosevelt wouldn't go around stabbing turtles with a sword. I think that would be a little bit beneath him. Wait, just fill a, the entrance? to a wasp nest with shaving cream. They can't get out. Really? That's an interesting tip. Uh, for me with the box elder bugs, I was actually really surprised. They're, uh, oh. Oh. Without a personal tricorder, you cannot properly locate the ancient console to activate it. Complete the uh, intro mission for Fracking Universe. I should probably do that. <laughs> the, I, I think I, I pissed off the uh, the developer for Fracking Universe. Because I was streaming this a while back. Uh, how do we make this smaller? I don't know if I can. Uh, but I remember, I remember him being, sounding kind of impatient when he was like, you really need to like, oh sweet Jesus, what are you? You are gone, that's what you are. Alright, oh alt, okay. Wait, is that a Nova? That's a Nova horse. Cool. I think there's multiple of them. Yeah, there are. They're cool, I'm leaving them. They got my symbol and everything. Ah. There's a lot more critters around here than, uh, than there used to be. I like these mods. Mods are cool. Let's see, but yeah, with the box elder bugs, turns out they're just su super susceptible to, uh, to soap. Straight up just kills them, like, in seconds. I was kind of shocked. And so, yeah, we were just, uh, outside spraying my house down with soap. And, yeah, within seconds, the entire infestation more or less just curled up and died. Which is kind of horrifying to think about, because, like, I'm not a big fan of killing, for obvious reasons. I mean, most people probably shouldn't be. Oh, we got an EPP. Cool. I'm going to nap. Okay, short nap is done. Let's continue on. 
Ow. It's just a bad dog. I'm gonna wanna do some farming probably when we get back. Yeah, soap coats their skin and they can't breathe. Huh. I figured it was like some kind of poison or something, but yeah, suffocating them is uh horrifying, I guess. At the same time, I don't know, I'm not really sure if there's a holistic way to get rid of box elder bugs. If there is, let me know, so I don't feel like a complete, like, horrible creature. I leveled up. I like RPG mods in these games. I At some point, I'm gonna load, um... At some point, I'm gonna load Terraria back up again. And we'll do another proper modded playthrough. With more mods! <clears throat> With more mods, because now there's a, uh... A, uh, what is it? A 64-bit modding client, which means more mods and less crashing, which I'm excited for. But for now, Starbound. Okay. Let's see. Inventory. I should probably just add these to the mix. I don't think there's anybody alive in here. You know, I could have actually, instead of using a healing item, I could have just hopped in this bed. Well, not less crashing, just smoother. I mean, slightly less crashing. Because I remember my original Terraria run was messy. Not bad, just messy, and getting all the mods to work right was tough. Oh, hey, here he is. Welcome to my mobile lab, Traveler. Come in and visit. I got a big comfy couch and a medical bay if you have any nasty, nasty injuries to heal up. Okay, so this is the fracking universe, dude. In order to fix your ship, you'll need to complete several tasks. Speak to me to begin. Not sure if you noticed, but my large size means I require large, rather absurd amounts of nutrients. Okay, detected your protector at signature entering the system and investigated immediately. You were on a collision course with the sun here, so I went ahead and redirected your nav system. Seems I was just in time, too. Your FDL drive, according to your scans, is completely broken. And I think your impulse is basically dead in the water. I think maybe we can help each other. Can I play as this guy? If you want to get off this planet, you're going to need to repair your ship. Step one will be creating a machining table in your crafting menu. With it, we can start to repair your teleporter and engines. Okay, so I guess we start with that. Well, first I'm gonna hop in this medical bay. And then I'm going to kill the shit out of these things. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, actually. Well. Probably put together some kind of teleporting... Uh, teleporter at some point. But if I remember right, they're, like, expensive or hard to make. Pain in the ass. Eh, maybe we're not as far away as I thought. 